Hi there. So in this video, we are going to see how to set test execution order in your test ng test. So open your Eclipse, then click on File, New, Java Project. Here I want to set my Java project name as Sample ng. Now click on Next. And here in Libraries tab, click on Add Library, then Test ng, and click on Next. And click on Finish then click finish again and you see your test engine library added to your project now right click on your project click new and then choose class here we want to use demo as our class name and now that we have our demo class let's create our test methods so public void test one as our first method then comes rest of the other methods so let me copy our test one and just rename it that's uh, test two and three okay now i want to print out system out print ln message as test one test two test three within message so it's test one test two and test three okay now if I want to set the priority or say execution order then all I have to do is I want to use annotation at the red test for our first method for second let's say test then for method depends on methods equals to then within curly curly bracket you have test one and outside that just have comma and point to always run equals to true so even if your method or test one fails it will continue to execute now you can copy the same for our third test just make it dependent on test 2 okay and let's add test annotation and we are set okay now we can check how in what execution order our methods execute so logically it should be from test 1 then test 2 depending on test 1 will run second then test 3 depending on test 2 will run third Okay, now right click on your class and then run as test ng test. And as you can see, there are no errors, no fails, or no skips. And if you check your console, you will find method running test1, test2, test3, all three tests pass. Okay, zero skips, and you can also verify the order here in your test ng report as test 1 runs first then test 2 and then finally test 3 so whenever you want to set the execution order you make use of depends on methods and always run so always run allows you for that test method to be run even if the that depending method if fails then it will continue to run so if test 2 fails test 3 will continue to run if test 1 fails it doesn't affect test 2 and it will run but only in order that we specify as test 1 test 2 and test 3 because we are using depends on method that sets the execution order for us